So little by little, especially this year, we've been seeing those COVID-19 restrictions ease here in Virginia. And like you said, this time, the ones that are going into effect tomorrow, those are really going to center largely on those particularly restrictive gathering limits that we've been seeing. Now, among the big changes, indoor social gathering limits are going from 10 to 50 people, 25 to 100 for outdoors. Now, entertainment venues, they can be at 30% capacity with all indoor numbers capped at 500. That's up from 250 and then no limit on the numbers for outdoor venues as long as they stick to that 30% capacity limit. Now, recreational sports, this includes high school. The outdoor spectator limit is now 500. That's for, again, outdoors, 100 for indoors. Now, this all goes into effect tomorrow, April 1st, Holy Thursday, for those of you who observe, that's just in time for Easter weekend and the types of events and celebrations that come with it. Now, churches have been able to gather and hold indoor services with social distancing and masks. Real Life Christian Church in Chesapeake already planned to hold three Easter Sunday services. Lead Pastor Drew Frozy says he's noticed more people coming out recently and he hopes to see it continue with this latest change. Uh, we've been able to invite more people as vaccines. More people have gotten vaccines. They've been more comfortable in coming back into this space. So I would say it's really thrilling over the last couple months to have people return. Now, for one local church, this weekend is truly a, a monumental moment in the past year. Ghent United Methodist in Norfolk is holding an outdoor Easter service at 10 o'clock on Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning, marking that church's return to in-person worshiping. They've just been doing it virtual up until this point. Uh, we'll still offer that virtual service. Real Life Church also offering virtual services as well for those who still don't quite feel comfortable coming out and worshiping in person just yet. Now, meantime, those of you who are watching in North Carolina, just a few days ago, you had your restrictions ease another step as well. Uh, that was on Friday, March 26th. That had to do with, again, uh, gathering limits, but also capacity limits that are on businesses as well. We have information about that. If you want that information on our website, WTKR.com.